John here guys and today we're talking about the Run Cam Racer 3. This is the latest micro racing camera by Run Cam to hit the scene and oh my gosh the beautiful image in your eyes um, racing around on the track on this thing. Uh, it blew me away guys. It blew me away. I'm really not a huge fan of very expensive racing cameras. Um, primarily because yes, you can get a slightly better image, but those, um, got, uh, those, those of us that do race know that, um, we often break these things, hitting gates, head on collisions. Um, but I have kind of switched myself, uh, for 2020 into frames that are similar to this that have quite a bit of camera protection. So in that I may be ready to move up to more set of premium cameras. Now I had been very recently flying the run cam racer nano, the V1. I really, really like that camera it has a very good image. I love the nano form factor. I'm thinking of switching. Actually, I pretty much have switched all across the board to nano cameras. Uh, but this Racer 3 is micro, but I still have a plenty of frames that can accommodate it. This is a Floss 3 frame. Running the front base, the Mayday nylon canopy option with the TPU turtle mode fin. Uh, and it protects the camera quite well, as you can see. And I must not have made it clear because they actually sent me the 2.1 lens version. I was a little worried about that, but the field of view, even with the 2.1, was quite good. I think I would still probably rather prefer the 1.8, but look at the image, guys. Look at the image, the colors, the clarity. Oh, man. Uh, and, you know, I really, this is not my primary quad for this season. This is really kind of a backup, but I found myself liking the image so much that I pretty much flew this almost the entire day over the weekend. Um, we had a really long race practice day. I think we all got at least 30 packs in and I probably flew, the, I flew my primary quad um, just to get some comparison footage for the first three or four heats. I thought I would fly this for three or four and then switch back. I never switched back. It looks that good. I really enjoy the color rendition of this. It's not too high contrast, but it's not too low contrast. I really like how it's right in the middle. The resolution on this is so clear and crisp. And we were flying some really different kind of obstacles. We had a very thin metal structured ascension gate um, and the legs of those are kind of hard to see. So having absolute clarity really did help me on the track in this case. Now it was somewhat of an overcast day, beautiful weather for racing. And those really are in a lot of situations, sort of ideal camera situations. Sometimes on those bright days, especially where there's little shaded areas or a cloud might come by, those will give you a little bit more difficulty, you know, when it's just totally um, overcast like that, it's actually better for your camera. But my goodness, so beautiful. Uh, this comes in at about 38 bucks. Um, so hopefully we'll get some custom codes for this in the run. And the <laughs> hopefully we'll get some custom codes for this in the FPV sales alerts group. So pay attention to that. Um, I really like what Runcam has been doing lately. They are switching to this sort of a metal case instead of the old plastic one that rips very easily. Um, so I might be convinced to stick to micro a little bit longer. Man, I really hope that they come out with a image quality of this in a nano form factor. I do have the Runcam Racer Nano 2 on the way. Wasn't excited about that. I really like the Nano 1, um, how it has a little pigtail. I prefer that. Um, also, the nano cameras give you a little bit more space uh, for your stack if you have a really crowded build. But this pod, you know, does not have that problem because it puts the camera in front of the stack, not above the stack or right next to the stack. So this has totally enough space and room if you're wondering what kind of frame setup you should be using for it. What do you think, guys? I'll show you some comparisons next to... Uh, I flew Cadex EOS 2 that day. I flew Runcam Robin. I flew uh, Runcam... Racer Nano V1. So here's the comparison. Thanks, guys.